Come in. Mr. Sadler, sir. Ah, Mr. Sadler. Come in. Can I get you a drink? Some tea, some coffee? Oh, some tea would be very nice. With milk and sugar? Please. My usual, please, Dent, and tea with milk and sugar for Mr. Sadler. Yes, sir. Why don't you sit down? Thank you. <coughs> well, uh, not very long, I'm afraid. Uh, somebody I can't remember the names of. Long time, five years. Did you ask Miss Ross to help you with that? Who? Sally Ross, when she came to see you last night. Oh, no, she just came round to comfort me, talk about Robert a bit. Comfort you, huh? Oh, we were both fond of him. It helps sometimes to talk when you're down. Did it? Did we talk? Comfort you? Not much. Well, she wasn't there for very long, was she? Uh, no, the police came round. Well, she shouldn't have gone out, not without a permit like that. Well, they were bound to be watching after the trial. I told her. Did you show her that? Should I have done? Did you? No. Why not? Well, she just came to talk. About Robert? Yes. Did you find it at all difficult, preparing the list? <laughs> yes, I told you, five years is a long time. When did it start? Uh, yesterday, right after I got home. You found it hard to remember? Yes. When did Sally come over to see you? Half past ten. Why not sooner? I suppose she stayed in London. Come in. Ah, oh. thank you, Dad. Me? Just uh, help yourself, Mr. Sutton. Thank you. Now then, let me see. You were in the middle of preparing that list when your son's girlfriend, whom he has known for four or five years, came to visit you. Now, it's such a natural thing, such an innocent thing for you to do, to ask her to help you with it, to recall some half-remembered name, pin down a fleeting recollection. It's, it's such a natural thing, such an innocent thing, that I become suspicious when you say you didn't do it. I thought you'd let a glance at it. Why did you tell me you didn't? That's not why you ask. I make you feel guilty. A bit. <laughs> you let her glance at it, did you? show it to her, or did she ask to see it? How would she know I was doing a list? Because she saw you with me before you caught your train home. She saw you with me, she asked you what I wanted to know, you told her about the list, she asked to see it. No. She did see you with me? Yes. Go on. Go on. She came to see you? Yes. She asked you what I wanted to know? Well... It would be perfectly natural for her to ask, wouldn't it? I suppose You so. told her about the list? Yes. She asked to see it? Yes! There you are, Mr. Sadler. Telling the truth is so much simpler than lying, isn't it? Why did you lie? Why, you ask? To cover something up. Now, what could that be? Have you left a name? Some names off the list, is that it? Did Sally Ross see a name on that list last night and ask you to remove it? No. No. Ah! Then you've put a name on the list that shouldn't be there at all? No. No, then what have you done, Mr. Sadler? Mr. Sadler, you are supposed to be here, helping your son. Now, you've already discovered that telling lies doesn't work, because I invariably find out the truth. Now, why don't you save time, Mr. Sadler, and your son's life, and tell me the truth now, quickly? I have told you the truth. You have told me a pack of very bad lies. Unsubtle, unthought-out, unsubstantiated. Now, grow wise, Mr. Sadler. Did Miss Ross see a name on that list last night and ask you to remove it? Have you removed any names from that list? No, not exactly. No, then what have you done, Mr. Sadler? We were talking about the people on the list and she merely observed that there was someone whose name she thought I might have included that wasn't there. Who? Well, he wasn't important. He wasn't on the list because Who? he... Who? He never came to the house. Who? Professor Donati. He never came to the house, sir, I swear it. Can you remember exactly what Miss Ross said? She commented that Professor Donati didn't appear on the list and I said he never came to the house anyway. But he didn't come, did he? As far as I know, definitely not. 
Thank you, Mr. Sadler. If you would care to be our guest at lunch, it will be served to you in your room. My room? Well, just whilst you're here, until we have a car to send you home. Come in. Oh, Dent. Would you show Mr. Sadler to his room, please? Yes, sir. Shall I be able to see Robert? After lunch. Dent, would you arrange for Mr. Sadler to visit his son this afternoon? Yes, sir. Will you come this way, Mr. Sadler? I, uh, hope the list will be of some use. Oh, it, it has been already. Most useful indeed. Most useful. Thank you. This way, sir. I'm, uh, sorry about that. No, Mr. Sadler, please don't give it a second thought. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> 